Hey you guys, uh, this is Levi again, and right now I will be doing a review for you on the LEGO Star Wars Hoth Wampa Cave. This is set number 8089, or 8089. Um, it is ages 7 to 12, or as I usually say, 7 and up. And it has 297 pieces, so about 300 pieces. So, without further ado, I will take you in and show you the minifigures. Um, this set claims to have four minifigures, but the skeleton really shouldn't be considered a minifigure at all. So, I don't consider it a minifigure. Here you have uh, Luke Hoth, and his lightsaber is in the cave. I'll show you that in a minute. A uh, really nice torso, his back detail and everything. Um, same helmet as the Rebel Trooper Battle Packs, which I do have a review for, by the way. So, there's Luke for you, and he you just stick him up there. I'll show you that more detailed in a minute. This is a nice minifigure. Really sweet guy. Comes with a chicken wing. And, yeah, he is really big. Here's a... Let's see, I'll set it down here to show you something very interesting about him. Normally, the arms just snap on, just because they already have snaps on them. But this one, you have to have... Get this off here for you. Okay, forget it. I can't get it off. But it's just one of those blue pieces that they commonly use in the um, Lego Star Wars sets. And I couldn't get it off, but you can kind of see. I'm sure some of you guys know what this piece is. Um, yeah, I don't know why they put that in there. Maybe just to add a couple more pieces to the set. But yeah, so that's how the two arms hook together. You got the two horns on the side, and the legs, the body, and the head are all one piece. So, there's that for you. And I'll show you the pilot. Oops. That's one thing annoying about the snow speeder, that this thing comes off really easily. Um, there you have Zev Sineska. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, he's exactly the same as you get in the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. I mean, there's no difference whatsoever. Exactly the same minifigure, but they give him this, this name instead. So. So, I'll show you the snow speeder here. Um, one thing really annoying about it is that they have flat, smooth pieces down there instead of like the studded pieces like this. So when you set the guy in, he doesn't stay in place. He just like if you tip the snow speeder up like this, he falls out of his sit of his seating, which is extremely annoying. And there is a spot for a second pilot here. I've got a second pilot for you. Sorry, my room is messy. That's why there's so many clothes all over the floor. I have to share a room with three brothers, so it gets kind of messy sometimes. Get in there. There we go. Alright, so they usually stay in place pretty good when you have two of them in there. Um, that one pilot there is from the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. Um, so yeah, they stay in place pretty good. Um, really nice snow speeder, but there's lots of stickers on it. This is a sticker right here. It's not painted on. This is a sticker. And on both sides, you can open this up. That's also a sticker. I'll show you this side. That's also a sticker. So I'm really not a fan of stickers at all. There's the bottom for you. So I really like the snow speeder. I got two of these Hoth Wampa Caves because I really like the snow speeders. Um, here is the grappling hook. And it extends. I'm not going to extend it here because it takes too long. But it extends about this far. So it really doesn't go that far. But long enough so you can hook it around the ATAT -AT walker that they just came out with. So, yeah, that's about it for the snow speeder. Um, I showed you him already. And here's the cave. And most people on their reviews don't really show the other side of the cave, so I will show you the other side. On this side, it actually looks like the opening to a cave. This is the opening kit. This is supposed to be the inside. So that's why that's all about. Um, here you can stick your guy up on those. So that's why uh, Luke hooks up on there. Um, this is pretty sweet right here. 
they have like some kind of animal rib cage with a spine and everything. All the all the boys like that. And this right here is supposed to be a launching device for the lightsaber, but it doesn't work. I have two of these, and I built them both, and both of them don't work. You're supposed to be able to pin uh, a lightsaber in between here and there, and it's supposed to launch it, but it doesn't work, so yeah. It's supposed to launch it. I did get it to work once, and it went like this. Get in there. I did get it to launch once, and it went boop, boop. So, pretty sad. But, yeah, that's about all there is to this set, really. Um, for a $40 set, you know, not too bad. I think that it could be $29.99 instead of $39.99, since it only has 300 pieces. Would have been nicer of them to do that. So that's why I'm not going to give this set that great of a rating. Probably of about 9 9.0. Yeah. Um, they should have knocked $10 off of the price. Extremely annoying when they try to bring up the price a little bit. Um, so that's about the only thing wrong with this set. Here's the instruction manual. Same size as the, um, Jabba's Sail Barge instruction manual. See, they're about, they're about the same. I will have a review for this set shortly because I just got it a few days ago. Um, on eBay for Christmas. Um, really sweet set. Really rare. I really like it. But I won't have a review for it shortly because I don't have the R2-D2 yet. I have to get it from one of my friends because when I got the set, it didn't come with R2-D2. So, that's what the deal is there. But I did get the glass cups and stuff, so... I'll have a review for that one shortly. So, but yeah, there's the instruction manual. And here's the box. Pretty big box. It's about the same size as the, um, oh, what's it called? The Separatist Shuttle. There we go. Same size as that. Um, you can rotate it here. And here's some um, more sets right over here. And here it shows more of the thing. I do have reviews for both of these sets, if you're wondering. I will have a review for this one shortly. So, yeah, and here. I think one more thing that I would like to down the rating on this for would be because it should have come with Han Solo and a Tauntaun. Because he rescues Luke, and then the Snowspeeder rescues both of them. He doesn't go in, this guy doesn't go into the cave and then save Luke. So there's like a big glitch on the back of this. The Lego people obviously were just trying to confuse people who have never seen the Star Wars movies. So yeah, that about wrap. Oh! Oh, no wonder the lightsaber thing didn't work. I had the piece in the wrong place. Let me see if I can fix that for you guys. That would have been nice to know a while ago. Piece goes there. Okay, now we'll see if it works. But I'm not going to guarantee anything. Alright, let's see if I can get it to launch here. Whoop-de-doo. Oh, there, it launched a little bit. Well, anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, hope you guys will check out my other reviews. I got lots of them on there. And the next one I'm going to do right after I hit the recording button on here is I will review the LEGO Star Wars MIDI Scale Imperial Star Destroyer. So, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, that's about it. So, see ya.